equity theory we discussed and reinforcement theory i will discuss this so reinforcement theory is basically what do you mean by reinforcement reinforcement is encouragement right so we have basically positive reinforcement and negative reinforcement so positive reinforcement like for example if you are done a good thing you basically appreciate it right you basically appreciate it right so when you normally do positive things you are appreciated for example from what you can be appreciated for example you do a job at the end of the month you get a salary right in terms of the salary you are your your work is appreciated right so apart from that you have monetary appreciations and non monetary appreciations non monetary in the sense that acknowledgments re rewards uh, recognitions uh, those kind of things right so those are positive reinforcements and what are the negative reinforcements negative reinforcements are the punishments right so basically you have rules and rules and procedures in the organization you have a reporting time and getting off time right so and you you can't come to the organization uh, just after the uh, reporting time let's say for example 7:45 is the reporting time right so when you are coming uh, after that time obviously you are punished maybe pay cut is there right your payment and the uh, proportion of a payment may be uh, deducted right so when you for example your sub supervisor is asked to do something uh, if you are refusing that you are unable to uh, do that thing right so obviously you may be punished there are punishments right so why punishments are have been introduced in order to uh, not to repeat the wrongful behaviors right because uh, people prevent or pre people uh, prevent doing wrongful uh, conducts right wrongful activities people are not doing right they are not doing wrongful activities right so in order to prevent those kind of wrongful activities uh, punishments have been in, in introduced in the organization for example if you take if, if that you are if you are take for example uh, pharmacy student right so you have attendance right why you have been an introduced attendance because uh, in order to uh, not to repeat same behavior bad behavior right wrongful behaviors uh, so in because you are coming to the lectures uh, because of the maintaining attendance because attendance has been compulsory and uh, in that context you are coming to the uh, attend lectures you are basically attending lectures if let's say if you have not 80% attendance obviously you are not allowed to sit for the examination right why because in order to repeat in order to repeat the correct behavior and in order to prevent the wrongful behaviors right so punishments have been introduced so those are known as negative reinforcement because be, because of the fear of the punishments people uh, motivated not to do certain certain activities because of the uh, positive reinforcement people repeated the same behavior which is allowed right so allowed in the sense that permissible permissible uh, behaviors allowed behaviors so when you are uh, demonstrating allowed behavior obviously you are rewarded so that is known as a positive reinforcement when you are repeating when you are preventing uh, a wrongful behaviors because of the fear of the punishments again there is a motivation right so we have positive motivations and negative motivations positive motivations obviously you are directed towards certain behavior in order to have uh, kind of a benefit kind of a reward kind of appreciation so those are known as positive reinforcements right you are preventing a certain behavior which is not allowed uh, because of the fear of that behavior because of the fear of the punishments that you are being introduced right so therefore uh, those are known as negative reinforcements right so those two things uh, is more than enough to understand those don't don't go these type of things uh, 
you are not allowed to you are not supposed to go through these things right so only just take these two things uh, uh, with the meanings right so that's enough right so those things are uh, here you have uh, uh, apart from this uh, here you have a goal setting theory uh, please cut it down and instead this uh, you have to write it down uh, the word uh, which was mentioned there they are in the sense that in this thing here uh, reinforcement theories right so you have to mention here uh, reinforcement theory cut this word right cut this word and instead you have to write it down as reinforcement theories 